Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I'm a tutor for Czech Tutors, and I usually tutor in English, Math, and Psychology. And today we're going to be talking about classical conditioning. Classical conditioning is a learned process in which a natural response to a potent stimulus is elicited in response to a previously neutral stimulus. So this occurs through repeated pairings of the neutral stimulus with the potent stimulus. So, as discussed in my previous lesson, classical conditioning was first discovered by a Russian psychologist named Ivan Pavlov through his experiments with dogs. Now, classical conditioning is the best understood of the basic learning processes today. So let's get into a little bit of detail. So in classical conditioning, the conditioned stimulus is a neutral stimulus. For example, the sound of a tuning fork or the sound of a bell. The unconditioned stimulus is biologically potent, such as the taste of food. So the unconditioned response to the unconditioned stimulus might therefore be salivation to the potent food stimulus. The conditioned response is usually similar to the unconditioned response, however, it's not natural. So this response is acquired through practice, through pairings, and it's usually not permanent. So usually the conditioned stimulus is not connected to the unconditioned response. They're connected through, again, practice and pairings. Um, Pavlov noticed that uh, while he was working with dogs, that dogs began to salivate in the presence of food. However, he also noticed that not only did they salivate just when the food was physically in front of them, but also when the technician entered the room to give them the food. So he then created an experiment to follow that observation, uh, and he presented a stimulus and then followed it by giving the dog food. And after a few repetitions, the dog would salivate to the stimulus. So if I just map it out, the food was the unconditioned stimulus, the irrelevant stimulus paired with the food was the conditioned stimulus, the salivation to the food would be the unconditioned response, and the salivation to the stimulus would be the conditioned response. So that's a little bit about classical conditioning. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope you have a great night.